Hello Creative Suite TV watchers, how are you today? Hopefully you're having a terrific day. This episode is all about tracing things in Illustrator CS4. These are my top tips. I think there's at least three, there may be four, even five techniques for tracing things in Illustrator. I think it's a highly useful skill to have if you're trying to vectorize any type of artwork. So tune in and have a great time in this episode. Tracing using Illustrator, my favorite application by the way. We're going to start off with some images in this particular tutorial that we're going to use to trace and there's a couple of different scenarios. The first one is where we need to redraw a logo. Now quite often these come as a scan off a business card or off a, a dodgy version off a website. In this case I've photographed one off a surfboard and this is a classic surfboard here, a George Rice surfboard from here in Victoria. And we're going to place this into Illustrator. So one way that you can do this um, is to select it in Adobe Bridge and say File, Place in Illustrator. So there's Illustrator there. Uh, I've already got a document set up and that will go ahead and place it on there. The very first tip that we've got to look at is, is with the Layers panel. I'll bring out the Layers panel and, and we can have a good look at it. Is We need to draw over the top of this and we don't want it to move around. So we create a new layer. There's the new layer there, Layer 2. But we need to lock this background layer so we can work over the top of it. A neat shortcut is to double click this layer and go ahead and call it a template layer. This is important. What this will do, it will not only lock the layer, it will also dim the image back to 50%. So that means when we work over the top of it, we're going to be able to see our line work a little bit more easily, if you know what I mean. And send, so then I go ahead and select layer 2. Now the way that we trace over this particular image, I think is, is important because we want to use nice smooth line work there and I think this really lends itself to manually drawing using the pen tool and, and that's exactly uh, what I would do in this case. We'll leave the outer circle because we'll do that with, a, with an ellipse. This is all hand drawn stuff so I would click and drag and click and drag. I'm going to use the Alt the Option key to swing that handle around and there we go. Now the problem is that as we're working around here, you can see we're getting a fill and a stroke. So we could obviously go ahead and, and switch off the, the fill down there uh, if we wanted to do that. Or the other thing we could do is start tracing in wireframe mode. So for those of you that have been using Illustrator for a little while, Command or Control Y puts you into wireframe mode. Doesn't matter what the fill is, but because we've got this tracing layer underneath, it remains in color. So then we can go around our image and really trace it. Now I know that's not very accurate in the middle, but for today we can just go and fix that up in just a second. So we can press the command or control key down there, go ahead and use the direct selection tool and just go and fix these individual points up uh, till we get that looking just right. So I'm not going to do the whole lot because that would be exceptionally boring for me to sit here and let you let you sit through me drawing over that logo. That's the first way of tracing a logo. Uh, and of course we go around and fix it all up. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is a little bit uh, different than that. We're going to use the, the place command this way where we're going to do another sort of tracing. So you go file and place instead of the open open width. And this time we're going to choose the map of Australia. We're going to do a stylized map of Australia here. Now when we select it, a really important shortcut that you, that you can learn here is turn on the template button. So what this does is when I click place, it automatically locks that layer, automatically dims the image down so and automatically gives us a new layer as well so that we're ready to go, we're ready to start tracing. The only thing is we probably need a larger canvas here so I'll just use the um, the artboard tool rather and scan, uh, drag that up so we've got enough space 
and we're ready to go. Now I'm going to approach this in a different way rather than using the pen tool. We're going to actually start off with an ellipse here. So I'm just going to draw one large ellipse and we'll also go into wireframe mode so you can see the wireframe there. Now this time I'm actually going to go ahead and use some of the warping tools. So you see over here in the toolbar, we'll zoom in again, we have some warping tools there for puckering, twirling, bloating, all the rest of it. We just use the regular warping tool and the way that I would do this is simply on I just can you do this with a mouse I'm actually using a pen and tablet today you can use this to push these around so that we can then start to match the edge of Australia and we can kind of keep working this over and Illustrator will put in points you know where they're needed and we can get a really well as accurate or as stylized as we like version of this beautiful wide uh, land of ours this enormous uh, land and we can start to really work this up. Now I'm going to do this quickly so that we can get a result here because I really want to show you uh, this one well as close to finished as, as possible. So we go around here up past the Northern Territory uh, down there just to stack that in and of course once you get to this point um, you can you know uh, get get right in there if you hold down the Alt key, the Option key, you can drag this up and down to make it bigger or smaller. And I'll make a smaller brush and start getting into some of the finer detail. This is where I am down the bottom here in Melbourne. And kind of, there we go. So let's assume that we're, we're happy enough with that. It all looks pretty good. Australia's looking great. Um, we colour it. We'll colour it in black. Get out of wireframe mode. And then we can turn off the background. And there we go, a pretty good stylized version of that map. So it's a slightly different way of creating a tracing, isn't it? I think that's a really great way to go about it. The last technique that I've got involves working with an automated function from a scanned image. And this is a, a picture of a dog and a chook that I've drawn uh, and I want to trace it. We're going to use the live trace feature here. We'll get straight into the tracing options and there's a couple of things that we need to point out. First of all, turn the preview on so you can see what you're doing. Okay. Second of all, when you're tracing line work like this, it draws a line on either side or Illustrator draws a line on either side of that line there and then fills it. But we actually want that as a single stroke. So just a tip for you is over here, I'll we'll zoom back out, there is a button that says also detect strokes and then give it a width. So the maximum stroke width we'll say is 17 because that's what age I'd like to be. And then Illustrator will detect a long row of pixels and instead of giving it a fill, it will define it as a single line and then give that single line a stroke weight. One last thing, we'll say ignore whites so that we only get the black line work go ahead and hit trace and then that's done. If we press the expand button at the top there, then you'll see what I'm talking about. There's the chalk and if I go ahead and select some of the line work, you'll see it is defined, it is indeed defined with a single line which makes it much easier to come and clean up. Larger areas will still be shapes but we can really or much more easily work with artwork like that to define it as being a little bit more editable and certainly color it in and all the rest of it. So that's a valuable lesson working with single strokes like that so don't be afraid to use that one either. I think the real advantage is there the artwork is then flexible. Thanks again for tuning in to Creative Suite TV. Hopefully you all learned something. See you again real soon.